us. And, you know, for him to only be a freshman, he's a elite guy, in my opinion. And if he keeps working, he'll be a really good player. Where would you say your, your, your run defense is so far this year? Has it been up to the standard that, that you guys have set? Uh, I think it can be better. You know, we just need to be better on our run fits and stay in the gaps. How important, you know, playing the position, so much of what you do is anticipation, understanding down a distance. I mean, how important is it to make those, those first down stops as far as the difference between second and 10 and second and five for a defense, for example? Big because we got some good stuff on third down that we can go to that people won't be able to block. But if it's third and two, we can't run that. So are you, are you excited to maybe have the opportunity? I mean, the first few games, it doesn't look like we've seen a whole lot of your pressure package. Now, Kirby says it's out there on film. You've done it for a couple of years, but is there a party maybe kind of excited to, to be able to show some of the pressure packages this week? I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I just want to stop the other team. It doesn't matter what call we end to me. Right. Um, as you kind of look at the stretch of the schedule here, it's SEC play for uh, uh, a good while here. You play all your SEC teams and close it out with non-conference. But as you – Look at that. I mean, I, I know you guys keep the same mentality, but does it kind of excite you to play amongst that best competition every week? Yeah, that's why I signed to play in the SEC. But Drew Locke, I mean, there's people saying he's the number one pick in the NFL draft, and you line up across from very good quarterbacks every week. But, I mean, is there a little bit more to it when you know you're going up against an NFL quarterback? I mean, it seems like this guy brings a lot. No, because uh, last year Baker Mayfield was, NFL quarterback, so I mean, he's a person just like we are, and you know, he makes mistakes too, just like I do. So it's not really that big of a deal. What, what changes for a defense on the road? I mean, we we make a big deal out of home and away games. What is the what is the real difference for a team going into a stadium like Missouri versus if you were playing here at Sanford? I mean, well, actually, like on defense on the road, you know, it's, sometimes it's quieter. Whereas at home, it's going to be a little louder on third down, in my opinion. When we're on the field, so I think it's actually quieter on defense when we're on the road. Is there a lot? Is there a lot of communication? Is that is that going to be big this week in particular with the team with this style of offense? Uh, well, communication is always big because everybody has to be on the same page or give up a touchdown. Um, in, in terms of the mentality that y y y you carry personally, I just I feel like you're you're matter of fact to the point and about getting the job done. I mean, where does that focus that you have come from? Um, I don't know. I've just always been like that. Okay. Not a fancy guy. I just like to do what I got to do. Okay. What kind of development have you seen from a young player like Jordan Davis? Uh, Jordan's getting a lot better. You know, um, I don't know what, like, what type of player he was in high school. He was obviously good, though. But um, he's getting a lot better, you know. Our noses, they have to like hold the point when they get doubled and not get moved, and he's really improved on that. We, we see the games from a perspective of nobody really staying close. I mean, it looks like you've blown out everybody, but has the defense improved? Has, has there been a lot of growth kind of beyond the scoreboard that, you know, that maybe you guys have gotten even better than maybe the scores would even suggest? Um, yeah, but I think there's still a lot of room to improve for everybody on the defense. How much of that is just – Experience. I know you guys lost four or five of the front seven, I guess. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say it's experience because before um, this year, I didn't have any, a lot of experience. I just think it just goes in, like, knowing what to do. And then as you look at the defense and you, f and you feel that need to improve, I mean, where do you all want this defense to be? Like, what is the ultimate goal among the group? Um, well, you know, our offense has been putting 40 on everybody, but, you know, there's going to come a game where they can't score 40. Might not be able to score. We're going to have to score on defense or we're going to have to get a stop. You know, you can't always put it on all these field and Swift and Frowns back to win us the game. Any more questions? All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.